Barriers there in second place, just behind Seamus Hines. And it is Paul Rogers who gets up for second place behind Seamus Hines. And third place was taken by... The Western Digital Women's 400 meters is underway and Patricia Walsh is off to a good start there in lane four. Also doing well is S.P. Lawrence in lane two, the Canadian lady with a personal best of 50.4. Also there is two guys, the Birchfield Harriers just now being passed by S.P. Lawrence. And Patricia Armand is going well in lane seven. Also Patricia Walsh, watch for Gwyn Wall, the number, the number five there. But it's Esme Lawrence, the lady in lane two. And clearly leading at this stage as they come in towards the last bend in the Western Digital Women's 400 meters. It looks like a win for Canada with Esme Lawrence leading as they head inside the last 100 meters. Esme Lawrence there with Patricia Walsh in second place, two guys in third place. But it's Esme Lawrence who gets up to take first. And a very good run by Patricia Walsh from two guys in third place. The result of the Western Digital Women's 400 meters. Our visitor from Canada, Esme Lawrence, taking the win. But Patricia Walsh, who was third last year, second in 1986, gets up to take second again in 1988. <laughs>
presentation for Mr. Lee Dong Yong. And to present the prizes, we have Mr. Paddy Fitzgerald, President of the Cork City Sports Committee. In third position, Diane Blaisbrook from Wakefield, England. With a best jump of 5 meters 92. In second position, Lorraine Campbell from Edinburgh Woollen Mills, Scotland. And her best jump was 5 meters 97. And in first place, Terry Harvin from Mallow. Introducing the athletes to you, lane one is uh, free. In lane two, from Banbridge in Northern Ireland, Peter Sinclair. In lane three, the UK Junior International from Birchfield Harriers, Steve Thomas. In lane four, a member of the UK 400 relay squad, Mark Thomas, also from Birchfield Harriers. In lane five, Kieran Finn of Rohini Shamrocks. In lane six, JJ Barry from Dublin City Harriers, the national 400 meters hurdles champion. In lane seven, John Graham from Canada. And in lane eight, Eamon Small from Limerick. Stand up, I'm 
750 so far. And that looks 752, I think. Yes, 752 has been credited to Stuart Faulkner, the Birchfield Carriers outlet. 200 metres from end, CMP sponsored is just about to get underway at the far side of the arena. And away to a good start at the CMP men's 200 metres with Philip Snoddy, Fenton Campbell, Andy Carrot and uh, Brendan Crotty there very much in contention but it's Andy Carrot who's already won the 100 metres taking up the lead, flying away down the back straight ladies and gentlemen, that's Andy Carrot out there in front and a very good run also by Philip Snoddy and Benton Campbell. So it's Andy Carrot who wins the 200 metres, sponsored by CMP, and a very good performance by most of the men's 200 metres, sponsored, as I say, by CMP there. Did you pass him out, you would? Did you care? This guy, you know, I mean, he came around the bench. He was bombing, yeah. Paul Johnson there lying second in the long jump from Longwood in England. His jump is just being measured. And meanwhile, as Andy Carrot is over on the far side there, signing autographs, taking a lap of honour, having won both sprints tonight. Let's salute what is a very fine triumph indeed by this English athlete, Andy Carrot. We're getting ready now, ladies and gentlemen, very shortly for the one, one of the feature events in this evening's program, as always. That's the Harp Lager Mile. Lots of interest always expected in this one. And we'll be introducing you to the athletes very shortly. <laughs> Here on this here side, you might like to salute once again Andy Carrot, fine sprinter, performing admirably for us this evening, winner of our 100 meters race and the CMP men's 200 meters. Very good times as well. Far side of the track, up to the finishing straight, you can see the athletes warming up for what is, of course, the feature event of this, the 40th Cork City Sports. Event number 15 on page 65 of your program, the Harp Lager Men's International Mile. And a fine feed we have here for you this evening. We'll be introducing those athletes to you shortly. Jumping. Leading at 7.52. His personal best, of course, is 787. He's the United Kingdom junior record holder. In second place, we have Paul Johnson with 735. And third is Kevin Liddington of Gertrude Harriers, 726. That's the position after three rounds. We'll introduce the athletes to you in the men's Harp Lager International Mile. Wearing number 186 from Northern Ireland, Seamus McCann. Number 185, fourth in the Gyro Bank Games, a sub-350 miler from Co Coventry Godiva in England, Colin Redding. Wearing number 184 from Denor Harriers in Dublin, Dermot Riley. Number 183, the national record for 1,000 metres and a personal best for the mile of 359.84 from Dublin City Harriers, Enda Fitzpatrick. Making his second visit to court, the Welsh mile record holder, Neil Horsfield. Oh, For the first time, 
running in Ireland from Australia, second in the Australian Championships, a personal best for the mile of 3 minutes 57, we welcome Glenn Ritchie, number 178. Winner of the Open Mile at the Cork City Sports last year, a personal best for the mile of 4 minutes 7.77, Frank Conway, number 177. From the United Kingdom and a student in Arkansas University, number 176, Gary Taylor. The man who had a fantastic run last year, finishing third in this race and getting a personal best of 3 minutes 58.06 from Thurnus Crooks, number 174, Tommy Maloney. I'm delighted, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome to Cork for the first time ever, from Lockbury University, the World Student Games Champion, number 172, Chris McGeorge. <laughs> for recent years, America's top miler recently ran his 100th sub four mile in May 1985, a graduate of the University of California, United States champion over 1,500 meters. Welcoming back to Cork, Steve Scott. record holder and extremely popular participant here at the Cork City Sports, second in this event last year in a time of 3.57.03 from Phoenix Athletic Club in England, Steve Ovet. Germany takes up the lead ahead of Kalinkin. 
Uh, we have uh, Martin Steele now in third place, last year's winner, so the one, two, three at the moment. Tal from West Germany, Kalinkin from the Soviet Union, and uh, up there too, Steele, who is now in fourth position. Stephen Hurd, third place at the moment. So Tao out there in front, just about 200 meters remaining in the Cuspor men's 800 meters. Hurd coming up strongly trying to challenge Rainer Thau from West Germany, second in the Bislett Games recently. Tau, Hurd and Kalinkin, the one, two, three, and still making a first forward but out of the head it's Hurd. Taking it from Steele, taking it from Kalinkin. So a close thing on the line, but certainly the English runner there, Steve Hurd, seemed to get up to take it. With Steele and Kalinkin very much in contention as well. We're not going to introduce all of them before the event, but we'll be identifying them for you. But we would like to welcome running in Cork for the time. Coming back to Cork yet again, number 229. The ever popular John Walker. Undefeated over the mile during the recent US indoor season. National 800 meter record holder for 800 meters of a time of 1 minute 45.87. And Ireland's world indoor 1500 meter champion, Cork's own Marcus O'Sullivan. Here we go. 